Yeah. Will you hit the record button? No. Yeah. Defiant. <laughs> <sighs> the record button. It's it says record. I hit the other one. It's difficult. I understand why you don't like doing this. Life's hard. You know? Especially when you have to buy a CP3. Tell me about the CP3. Well, you have to buy a CP3 conversion. But people ask me all the time. They're like, hey, Craig, why is a CP3 better? My truck has a CP4, and 4 is a bigger number than 3. Well, it's not, and my name's not Craig. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> so the CP3 is far superior because it doesn't have these little rollers in it like this. As you can see, all jokes aside, the CP3 is an amazing product. CP4, however, this is the big reason, and there's tons of videos all over the internet about why these things fail, but this is a pretty good explanation. You can see how galled up this thing is. They have a lot of spring pressure right on top of this piston, and this thing is supposed to ride like this. Well, sometimes they end up rotating like this because there's no centering pins on that, that piston. So essentially, either they can roll over to the side, or in the case of this one, they did not roll over twist, but what happened was you can see that these don't wanna really roll. They've got flat spots in them. They stopped turning in this, therefore ended up just scraping, and therefore we ended up a bunch of metal up in this thing, all that sort of glitter. And unfortunately the injectors were also invited to said disco party. So this gentleman ended up having to buy an entire fuel system, get tank flush and everything else. It's really cool when we are able to solve this problem before this happens. Cause then you could just put a CP3 conversion in from either fleece performance or from SNS diesel and it'll solve that problem. You won't end up running into a 10 to $14,000 repair, depending on what kind of vehicle you're driving.